You can never have too many lipsticks. Hey guys, a bunch of you always ask me about the lipsticks and stuff that I wear. Now, I do wear a few different brands, but one of my favorite true lipsticks is Urban Decay, and they were half off the other day, which is a steal, because they're normally about $20 per tube, and on their website directly, they had 50% off. So if you have some Christmas gift cards, you know, coming up here and you are interested, watch for after Christmas because I bet you they will run a similar one. So my go-to color is in here and that is called F Bomb Cream. I'm going to save that for last. Um, but there's some new shades that I just bought on a whim. Um, four of them actually, to be precise. Um, you know, possibly wasting $40, but I don't know. I think I kind of know myself well enough that I might be able to pick the right color. So. Let's start with, hmm, we'll start light and then we'll go dark, which there's really just one or two light ones. All right, the first one I'm going to try is Wrong Number, and this is a sheer color. You know, there's nothing more satisfying than pulling that lipstick up for the first time seeing the shine and of course I'm going to use this video as my mirror here but I was looking for a neutral when I picked this color I think I just about got a neutral too okay the nice thing about their shears is that it does tame the color back a little bit you know, I think this will look nice. I think I would possibly use a liner with this, but it feels great. And that's the nice thing about Urban Decay. Like, their lipsticks just feel so good. But yeah, definitely recommend this one. Cool, cool, cool. Hmm. Next one. All right, we are back with Bare Lips. And we are looking for, this is called Cruel. And it is metallicized. I don't know if that'll help. Does this really help beauty bloggers? Tell me, does it help? <laughs> All right, let's check this puppy out. So this is really funny. I feel like, you know, the stickers are generally pretty close. I don't know if I would say that sticker is that close to this, but I did pick it because it's red and it's shiny and glittery. Look at that shine already. Oh, it's so pretty. This is so pretty, you guys. Okay, this is like, this is total like, this is a holiday lipstick, 1000% just Look at how shiny that is. Sorry, I'm hitting the cord here. <laughs> I just keep hitting it in my chair. But, oh, you guys, that is so pretty for Christmas. Oh, beautiful. All right, let's see here. Next one. All right, we're gonna start heading into darker colors and this is gonna be more of a pink shade. Like we're talking like a magenta. The shade is called Psycho. I might also like their lipsticks because of their names too. Let's see here. Yeah, beautiful shine. Look at that color, that is just rich. It looks a little bit more red here, but guys, it's like a magenta. Oh, that is pretty. You guys, that is beautiful. Gorgeous. Like, it's just, I would wear this. I mean, I would wear it in an office setting, but I, you know, a nice dinner out, you know, we don't have to cover up our faces anymore. This is, I think, a really cute, like, date night, ladies' night out shade. 
really beautiful. All right, you know the drill. Next shade. All right, next up we have the 69 Cream. As you can see, the last one definitely colored my lips a little bit, but that's why we're just going darker. So this red, this red, <laughs> this red is very similar to the F Bomb, but I would say it has a little more pink to it. Um, pink in shade, where the other one's a little bit more lush, you know, deep bluish red. So here we go. It's like I almost forget how to put on lipstick these days. Mm. I think this is such a fun color. It's so pretty. Make those lips look a little bigger. I smelly touched that up because I'm so awesome at doing this in a camera. But no. I think this is a pretty shade. And if you have blue eyes, light eyes, girls, or guys, whomever, hit this up. And we have two more shades left, so here we go. All right, this is the 714, I guess I didn't do that with the last one, oops, Mega Matte. Pop this open, just a little bit All right, let's see how matte, matte does. So I've never actually purchased a matte lipstick from them. I've always had a sheer or like a cream. So uh, let's find out. Oh yeah, that is stunning. Now for long wear, I usually use Stila and Beso, but sometimes by the end of the day with the long wear ones, even though it's great that they literally stay on all day, my lips just feel so dry and I feel like they kind of look like a dry butthole or something. I know that's kind of TMI, but I don't know, I just feel so dried out. Mm. I love that that's matte without, I feel like, looking dry. I feel like my lipstick application is getting sloppier as we do this. But no. It's matte without having too much shine, but it still feels hydrating in a way. Like, my lips just don't have that kind of dried off feeling with this. So, I'm really impressed with this. Last, but certainly not least, let's get to my favorite. Alrighty guys, I've already dipped into this once, which is why it's not coming out of the box, but there it is, F-Bomb Cream. You guys, if you are looking to make a statement, this is your girl right here, F-Bomb. Even though she's called F-Bomb, she is a classy lady. She is a boss bitch. Sorry, this is not a PG-13, well, this is a PG-13 cast, but she gets work done. This is my go-to shade, especially when I'm doing stuff for work, like presenting, like this is, this is a shade for me, so. I love it. She's got that nice little shine to her. Probably should have done this in my mirror, but. You guys get the gist, but I mean, guys, look at this color. It is just everything that you could want. So let me know down in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe which one is your favorite and I will be back tomorrow on Christmas Eve. I hope you guys enjoy the holidays. I might be a little backed up uploading the holiday vlogs, but um, thank you so much for all of you that are watching and commenting throughout this. It really means a lot and I hope you guys are getting to learn about me a bit more, but if there's something you'd like to see me cover in these last few vlogs, questions for me, topics, Leave them down in that comment section. Thanks guys, bye.